Hi, I'm B.L. Ackman here today with Henry Copeland, who is the owner of Racery and the president. And Racery is a rather unique concept in sports. Henry Copeland, how you doing? Hey, B.L., I'm great. Thank you. Tell us what Racery does. Racery allows people, wherever they are, to compete for a kind of a long-term race, an ultra in a sense. So over the course of a month, you and I and three friends could all see who could go the farthest in France, but we don't need to travel to France. We are just logging our miles and every day Racery is advancing your avatar on a map and also sending you email notifications that are motivating you and kind of boosting you along, getting you excited and making you feel competitive and part of a little community. What sports does Racery track? We have various modes. We have a running, walking mode. We have a cycling mode. We have a swimming mode. We recently had a woman who completed, a, I think, her thousandth mile, pretty, which is pretty incredible swimming. A thousand miles? That's like from here to France. <laughs> Most of our races are either 25, 50, or 100 miles. Very often we'll do a virtual marathon that a group of people will try to do together. And then those who are more ambitious can try to loop multiple times. So we give people, let's say, two weeks to complete a race or maybe a month to complete a race. And then those who are ambitious can keep looping and looping and looping. And sometimes you do three or four loops. We have some runners who run 10, 15 miles a day because they get so competitive and they want to win. What did they win? Well, ha ha, pride. Any number of studies prove that what people really want is recognition. It's lonely being out there running by yourself. Absolutely. It's lonely being out there by yourself doing anything. Life is lonely. Be hell. What average age do your participants have? They would tend to be in their 30s and 40s and would tend to be women. But we have a huge range. One of the fascinating things that when you get into dealing with people in fitness and motivation is everybody needs more motivation in their life. There's not a single person, whether the most elite athlete or the most pedestrian kind of run in the mill person, maybe who's never exercised before, they have in common, they need motivation. I think races are in people's DNA. You know, we came out of the jungle, we started racing gazelle to try to race them down to get some meat. And as we did that, it turned out that we just enjoyed pursuing stuff together. And so I think we're tapping into that DNA.